My four-year-old Kia Nero has now done over 100,000 kilometers, including a 15,000 kilometer road trip right around Australia, doing a lot of DC fast charging in some fairly extreme weather conditions. And a lot of people have asked me, how's the battery held up? Is it still doing the same range as it used to, still holding as much energy as it used to? So today, I'm going to try and answer that. Anecdotally, I really haven't noticed any impact on usable driving range. Obviously, the range can vary based on the efficiency in different driving conditions, so that's not the best test. But when I've just been doing fairly normal around town driving, the car still estimates a full charge range of right about 450 kilometers, which is really the same as it did when I bought it and very similar to the official range rating for the car. And based on the typical efficiency I get when I'm doing local driving and the size of the car's battery when new, that would suggest it's holding pretty much exactly as much energy as it used to. But as I say, with variations in efficiency and things, this isn't very precise. So I bought a Bluetooth OBD dongle and plug the dongle into the car's OBD port and turn the car on and connected my car with an app called Car Scanner. And now in here, I can tap on all sensors and see all kinds of metrics about the car, all these technical things. And if I scroll down and find it somewhere in here, I can see the BMS state of health. The battery state of health from my understanding, essentially shows the remaining capacity of the battery. So if the battery state of health is 100%, that means it could hold 100% as much energy as it could when it was brand new. If a battery has quite a bit of degradation on it, it might show 90% state of health, which basically means if you charged it to 100%, it will still only hold as much energy as a new battery charged to 90% would. So it's basically telling you how much capacity the battery still has left. And on my car, the battery state of health is apparently 100%, which would mean it hasn't degraded at all. This seemed kind of wrong to me. I knew there wasn't much degradation, but I assumed it would have to be in the high 90% or something state of health, not 100%. But then I did some more research and it turns out my car has a bit of a buffer that it doesn't show. I've always thought my car has a 64 kilowatt hour battery pack, but apparently that's just the usable capacity that shows on the dashboard and the screen and everything. The physical battery can hold 67 kilowatt hours, but the charge level on the screen and everything only shows it as having 64. So there is actually a bit of a buffer above and below 100% this is meant to help protect the battery so that it's never completely full or completely empty. And it also means when the car says it has 0% charge left, it can actually drive slightly further because it'll let you dip into that buffer and go a little bit below zero. And I can actually see this is the case in the app because I have state of charge display here showing 76% and state of charge BMS showing 74%. So the 76% state of charge display is what my car is actually showing me. I'm looking at the touchscreen right now and that says it's on 76%. But the actual battery itself is on 74%, but the usable capacity is apparently 76%. I'm not entirely sure how that works out, but that does really sort of demonstrate that there is a bit of a difference between the usable displayed battery and the real physical battery. So what I imagine has happened is the buffer is now smaller than it originally was when the car was new. So it was originally a 67 kilowatt hour total battery. It might now be more something like a 66 or 65 kilowatt hour battery, but it still has 64 kilowatt hours of usable capacity displayed on the dashboard and available to use. So that's why the original driving range hasn't changed at all and why the technical state of health is still at 100%. It just essentially means my buffer has shrunk. So I now have less buffer probably than I did when I originally got the car, but the actual 
capacity that I'm able to use is still the same. And if I scroll right to the bottom down here, not entirely battery health, but just a bit interesting, we can see I have, well, the car has been DC charged 174 times. I did buy it used, so I'm assuming some of those weren't me, but it was DC charged 174 times with a total DC charging energy being 3,260 kilowatt hours from DC chargers, which is enough to do roughly 18,000 kilometers at highway speeds. And it's been AC charged 1,289 times, adding 12,799 kilowatt hours, which would be enough to do about 85,000 kilometers of local driving. I'm using different efficiencies to work these out because I normally charge on AC at home and then drive around locally, and then DC charge on road trips where I'm mostly doing highway driving. It might not be exactly like that, but 18,000 plus 85,000 works out to roughly what my odometer is on now. So I think I worked it out pretty accurately, but it's not exact. And the battery work time has been 6,084.9.49 hours. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but I'm assuming it's basically how much time the battery has spent either outputting or receiving power. So essentially any time the car has spent either charging or just turned on and driving. But now we have our answer. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any way for me to see how much of that buffer is left and how much actual degrading has happened to the physical battery. But the state of health is technically 100% meaning there's so far been absolutely no change in driving range or usable capacity or anything like that, which is really good. Now, at some point, after maybe 200 or 300,000 kilometers, as the battery degrades more and more, that buffer might shrink away to nothing, and then I might eventually start to see a small amount of degradation in the usable capacity, and start to actually lose a tiny bit of driving range. But so far it's been going along really well. And I really think if and when that eventually ever does happen, it would be very minimal anyway. So that's really good. And the whole car has been doing great throughout its 209,095 kilometers that it's now done. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in another one soon.